Hey guys, Ivan here. So, Portugal Pro 2023, Mr. Big Evolution. Uh, we got the pre judging of the Open Division, but we're gonna start with the classic physique first. We got the winner, the pre judging and the finals both are over. And this was your top three. In the middle, there in the center, there is the guy that is very popular on social media, Stefan Matala. And we were all kind of expecting a lot from this guy. I, I gotta say, he looked good. Like, he didn't look bad. I mean, uh, this is his first pro show, and like he has the flow, he has the lines, he has a ton of potential. It's only a matter of time when he's gonna win a pro show this year and qualify for the Olympia. I'm sure he's headed there, but the guy that won this show tonight is the white guy on the right. Uh, do I agree with this decision? I like this decision, because one of my people won. What do I mean by my people? I mean white, bald guy. So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm white and I'm bald and, like, I don't know, I don't see a lot of top classic physique guys. Like, I don't know if there ever was a top 10 Olympian in classic physique that was bald. Like, maybe there are some black bald guys, they look good without hair, but, like, uh, us white guys, we don't really look that aesthetic, <laughs> right? We don't, look, we don't look that classic. And this guy here, he doesn't look as classic as Stefan, no way. Stefan has much, much better lines, much more um, good-looking classic physique. I mean, look at this other guy. Like, he has a bubble gut, kind of. He's lost on the stage. He doesn't know where he stands. Um, <laughs> he just got a little confused. Uh, but, uh, like, uh, the reason why he won is because he was simply more shredded. He was harder, he was more peeled, and he was, like, more dense. Uh, he's actually a bodybuilder, he competes in bodybuilding, but somehow he made a weight in classic and he showed up here with crazy density, crazy uh, sharpness, gra grainy look, you know, and he won based on that. I mean, he also has good symmetry, like he has good lines, he has good shape and balance for a bodybuilder, but he doesn't have like the prettiest lines, the most classic physique of them here. Uh, he is the least classic here, I gotta say, but he won based on other criteria. He has a good vacuum, though, even though he has a little bit of a bubble gut, he has a good vacuum. Look at the ribcage. Very wide ribcage makes this vacuum look even more impressive, and it's a very deep vacuum. So he learned how to do that, and uh, he brought good conditioning, he came in, like, big, you know, for a classic VZ guy. And even though Stefan, look at Stefan, Stefan looks amazing, like, he has a very, very classic physique. He still didn't win because the other guy brought other things. Like I said, I'm happy that this guy won because it gives me hope because I'm planning on competing in Classic Physique in MPC or IBB Pro League potentially someday and I don't know if I can make it without nice hair but yeah, this guy is proving me wrong, I, I guess it, it can all work out in the end but again, do I agree with the decision? No, no, I think Stefan deserved to win this show I think he was the most classic looking guy here, the most aesthetic guy even though maybe he wasn't like super conditioned, super shredded and like full and like blasting he wasn't like spot on he wasn't he didn't peak perfectly no but still i think he had enough to win uh, the judges decided differently it probably was different in person we can't really see what was happening based on these photos and the videos but i'm guessing uh, the guy, this guy won because he was like super shredded super grainy super matured and um, yeah i guess we don't really understand the judging criteria i mean it's not all about classic lines obviously it's a little bit more simple in the open, though. Andrea Presti is for sure winning this, absolutely annihilating everybody. No competition. Nobody is standing on his way at this show. Like, he really brought it. He's, like, rock hard and full and big. And, like, look at the details everywhere. Like, look at the back. Look at his back pose. Look at the hardness in those freaking gloats. What the hell, man? This looks so nutty. So, yeah, he absolutely deserves, look at the back, look at the width to those shoulders, God, what the hell, look at this freaking width taper, this is insane. In very, very firm second, we got Roman Fritz, but only second, no, Roman is not pushing Andrea Presti, yeah, they made this final call-out, two-man call-out in the end of the show, I don't know why they made this call-out, I guess it's only for the fans, because really it's not close. But uh, I'm happy that I actually made this call out because I'm a big fan of Roman Fritz. I follow him on Instagram, I follow him on the podcasts, and I'm happy that this guy is top two in a pro show. He's very close to winning one of the shows. Maybe he's gonna manage to win one. There is a couple of shows left in Europe. 
but uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe. Uh, I'm not very optimistic. There are a lot of good guys out there. But yeah, this show, he beat actually a lot of good guys. You know, placing second in this show. Yeah, yeah he did good. I mean, when he's standing next to Andrea Presti, he doesn't look that good. But you will see how, how he looks next to the other guys in a second. From the back, he looked really impressive. I mean, look at those freaking gloves. Look at, look at the lines. And, and the hamstrings as well. And the back, too. It's a good back. But again, next to Presti, yeah, it's underwhelming because Presti just really brought it like crazy. And he's that good. Roman, he's like one level below. So I'm really happy that Roman made it in that top two. But like, is he really pushing under a Presti? Absolutely not. This was your top five. So once again, Andre Presti in the middle. On his right, Roman Fritz. On his left, Emir Omeragic, who is in third, for sure. And then you have Peter Kluncher on the left and the guy on the right, I'm not sure what his name is. But uh, yeah, Peter Kluncher is fighting for that fourth and uh, Emir just fought, I'm gonna show that to you as well, against Roman for the second and he lost. So Roman, as you, as you just saw, ended up in that top two. So Roman second, Andrea first, Emir third, fourth is the guy on the right and Peter Kluncher is fifth. So this is your top five, and as you can see, Vlad Cichoruchko is not in it, and also Lionel Biaki is not in it. And what did they look like? I'm gonna show that to you in a second as well. Before we get there, I just wanna show you this funny moment that happened here when they were doing the absent eyes pose. Look at what Amir did. <laughs> look at Roman's reaction. I mean, it's fine to do this when it's a pose done, when they're doing most muscular, but not in a comparison, not in a call out, just to step in the front of the other guy and just like cover him completely in the absent eyes pose. Like this, this made no sense. I guess Emma really wanted to place ahead of Roman and he just got carried away a little bit too much. This is not okay to do. But Roman's reaction, <laughs> priceless. This was so funny, man. As far as Lionel Biecki and Vlad Zuharuchko, unfortunately I don't have any better video footage, but we got this, and yeah, you can get the idea of what is happening here. So Lionel, um, he brought the sides back, he did not embarrass himself completely like he did the last time he competed in Yamamoto Pro France, uh, he brought like conditioning that is not embarrassing, but not conditioning that's gonna win a show. Uh, Vlad Zuharuchko just proved to us that he's an Instagram bodybuilder. Uh, if you look at him on the stage, it's just nowhere near to what it looks like on Instagram. Not even close. Maybe his peak wasn't perfect. It's probably also that. He didn't really bring like the best combination of fullness and, and, and conditioning, sure. But he just doesn't, have, doesn't really have those lines, the proportions that uh, the other guys have. In other poses, some poses, he looks good, like in the side chest, but like in the majority of the poses, you can see that his physique is not really uh, on that level to be winning pro shows. Uh, he's not even top five here. A lion, as you can see, humongous, like bigger than all bodybuilders here, I'm pretty sure. So he's still holding on to a lot of tissue since 2000, I don't know, 16, 17, when he was active and when he was very good. Uh, but like back then, he had an issue with bringing conditioning. Now it's just much, much worse. But yeah, as you can see, he didn't lose the size. He's still freaking massive. So if he brings the conditioning in one of the other shows, one of the coming shows, he can win a pro show. He can go to the Mr. Olympia still, yeah. Like, I don't see he, he completely ruined his physique or anything like that. He just doesn't have the best conditioning and that's it. He can get conditioned in like four, five more weeks of dieting, I'm sure. Uh, what Vlad can do... I don't know, he can't really do much, like he has certain uh, imbalances, uh, certain flaws about his physique that he can't really change in, in a month or whenever, like his conditioning is okay, but his physique is just all wrong, like the delts are full of oil, the lats look weird as well, the legs are not really in balance with his upper body, and Lionel, like I can't really see it because it's a horrible footage that I'm showing you, unfortunately it's all I got right now, but I think you can get the idea, you can see that, 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 that Lionel is only not very well conditioned, but he's not small, like he has the muscularity. Once again, Andrea Presti won this show very, I would say, easily, very decisively. Very, very, very good, strong win for him. Roman second, Emir third, and Petter in fifth because of the back. Look at the back here, Look, compared to the other guy on the far right. Huge difference in back, huge difference. And I'm really pissed at Petter because... Again, he's from Croatia, he's from Balkans, over here. And I would love to see him exert more confidence on stage, better posing, but look at him, like, he's totally, like, he's not confident, he's kind of, I don't know, scared of the other guys, 
And here he missed the peak completely, I think, like, uh, he looks super flat and not full enough, he, he's just really flat, and he, I think he overdied and he lost uh, some size in the legs and the back, so yeah, not the best version of Petter, and he lost to Emir, who is also from Balkans, who is from Montenegro, and who is a super young guy, I think he's like 24 right now, 23, 24, 24 I think, and Petter is a little bit older. Uh, he's like in his 30s, so yeah, I guess uh, currently Amy Romirag is the best Balkan bodybuilder. And once again, guys, Andrea Presti just won the Big Man Evolution Portugal Pro. Whatever you think, let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel for more bodybuilding videos like this. And guys, if you want to show me some love, there is the link down below. It will lead you to the Old School Labs website. Buy any of the Old School Labs supplements. I suggest to you Protein Powder by Old School Labs. It's delicious. But make sure to use the code EVAN to get a 15% discount and to help me out as well. Thank you guys so much. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.